Thank God. What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry, that was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. It was Joseph Morello's wife. I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Dumet running around. all of this. He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche, that he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different... Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup? There was no groundskeeper. But we saw a guy in a yellow jacket with her stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Chicago Police! Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck! Fuck! Oh! Uh, dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street, requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere, and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, there we go. Bad parenting can definitely be a factor, but it could be a shitty dad just as much, or an uncle, any adult figure, really. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff and don't turn into killers. Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, 
He's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. Can we use this gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. What is this? Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Care Home. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, um... I... I understand that you're making voice recordings of your mother. And we do believe in supporting relatives. And, and of course, you want to capture those precious memories. But, uh... We've had complaints from some of the other residents who are disturbed. Disturbed by the volume. Over here! Look at this. It saw his little tricks in moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark, not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Okay, look, he's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay, but how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have- To be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Okay, that's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Head down the hall, keep to the right. Was this on the mat?
More rooms being built. Huh. What is it? A button. There's a reverse symbol on it. What, what, what does it? Shit, no! I'm 
not playing this game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. Jamie? I'm not doing it. I'm not playing this game. Tell everyone I chose this, Kate. And if you get the chance to fuck the up, do it. Promise me. I promise. Oh, fuck. Jamie! Thank you. Thank you. Survive, okay? an excruciating way to go. Jamie wouldn't press the button. She chose to spare Kate at the cost of her own life. Admirable. People can surprise you sometimes. It's a catchy tune, isn't it? Erin's Don't Be Scared song. Sadly, it didn't work. Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it? Did the hint I gave you earlier help? Perhaps you'd like another. Let's see if Sir Arthur can help us. This is from The Man with the Twisted Lip. Have you read it? You should. A trusty comrade is always of use, and a chronicler still more so. I think that last bit might refer to me. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely.
He's coming. Let's go. Run. Don't stop.
Are you okay? I'm in one piece. <laughs> <laughs>